What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and we are back with another YouTube video. It's been so long since I created one of these, so um, yeah, it's good to be back. And today we have, as you can tell, some PSA cards. Um, these cards I probably picked up raw like 15, 16 months ago. Um, sent them off to PSA and then 11 months later we got them back this was under kind of like one of the bulk um, categories so it was expected takes so long I didn't think it would take 11 months but here we go so all these cards are the legends uh, from the heart gold soul silver era and kind of like the moral of this video is going to be you know instead of chasing whatever hype card is out there that everyone's looking for um, you know Pokemon has such you know a long history and so many unique cards and I feel like these legends are a great example that uh, we're going to be going through we're going to look at through the like the pop reports and in the bottom bottom right hand corner I have like the pop reports of base Charizard and uh, uh, hidden face Charizard just to kind of like throw some comparisons that um, you know as far as like the cards that are really that everyone's looking for and then you know there's these other ones that are very under the radar yet they the art is just amazing so to kick things off, um, you'll see like the serials are kind of like all over the place. So this was like a 259 card submission and legends are sprinkled throughout. Um, so here we go. We're starting with Palkia Dialga Legend. And so we have both both sets. And yeah, so Legends, in case you don't know, it's two cards to, you know, think of tag teams. Only you had to have two different cards to like assemble it. Um, and then the art is split and then like the moves are on the bottom. So Palkia de Alga to start. Um, honestly, this one probably is my least favorite, which is why we're starting with this. Actually, let me pull up the pop report. I'll put it on the top of the screen. So as you can see, let's just look at some quick numbers. So for both halves of this card combined, uh, there are more Charizard base unlimited Charizard PSA 10s uh, than both of these cards combined in any grade. Uh, so that's kind of what I mean that, you know, these. I feel like these things were kind of under the radar. Yeah, it's not super old. This was like 2010, uh, but I feel like these cards are just so unique. And um, so I do have a good amount of the the bottom version, although like the top kind of has both uh, both of their faces, which is pretty cool. And then the bottom, you're kind of just looking at uh, Dialga's feet. So, <laughs> um, but you know, when you look at the power report, actually the 10 was a little bit harder, a little bit tougher to get. Uh, for the bottom half and we'll kind of look through so we got a couple sevens and the way I stacked these was like the lowest grades on top so we'll see how much how many times we can level up leveled up to eight let's see if we can get to nine all right we did get to nine and we got one more and boom we do have a PSA 10 um, so it's pretty cool you know this legend card we have one of 61 copies for the PSA 10 Palkia Dialga and uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this for every legend. And again, when I bought these cards raw um, X month, like 15 plus months ago, I think the way I did it was across eBay, TCG Player, and uh, Troll and Toad. Basically, I bought copies. I said like the ceiling about thirty dollars per card, and. Um, I think for some of them like Lugia maybe it was up to like 50 and then I felt like these cards were so cool they were pretty old and you know the pop reports are just real though so I you know bought bought what I could within those ranges and then sent up off to PSA um, I, I was thinking about doing kind of like a, a market video with this stuff to kind of like go over the prices but I think I'll save that for another video I feel like this in itself will take some time so Dark Ride Cresselia um, Dark Ride, this art, Dark Ride art is amazing. Well, <laughs> Cresselia first, I don't know. I don't know too much about this Pokemon. It kind of looks like a float in a parade or something. Kind of looks like a balloon animal. So, can't say I'm a huge fan of Cresselia, but Dark Ride is really cool. I mean, look at that art. This is, um, I don't know, he looks so menacing. Uh, something from, you know, like a horror movie or something so i feel like this is a really cool art especially for what i understand dark Rye, the kind of pokemon he is kind of like haunts your dreams and that kind of stuff and uh so let me pull up the pop report real quick all right so we have less than a hundred of each and it seems like uh the dark Rye half the top half uh 99 it was slightly harder to grade let me see if i can just get the camera to focus a little bit all right, focus looks pretty good. Uh, so we got, we're starting with a nine on the dark ride and just an eight on the Chris. We'll go with the Chrysalia first. <laughs> All right, so we did get to a nine and looks like we maxed out at a nine for Chrysalia. Let's see how we do with dark ride. I'm happy to go higher with dark ride. 
we got another nine and we do have a 10 and looks like there is more than one so out of 79 tens as of when i pulled this pop reports we have two of them so very cool and then once again uh take a look at you know for the tens there are less of each of these in 10 than there are of first edition <laughs> base Charizards and then when you think about like uh, I use Hidden Fates because I imagine Champion's Path and Shining Fates those Charizards like will just continue to skyrocket just because of how backlogged PSA is all right so that's those are the ones from Triumphant uh, so we're kind of going in reverse order because I think uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver base is where the, the kind of like the best ones uh, were you know that's where the the coolest legends were all right so here we have Okay, so we're going into Unleashed. Unleashed was um, still cool because you got the legendary dogs, but because there's three of them and they're always in pairs of two, there's three different sets of them. So let me see, Entei Raikou. Let's pull up the pot report. Wow, okay. For the bottom half, only 16 tens and 30 tens for the top half. Let's see, actually, let's take a look at the art. Not bad, you got Raikou's face right there. And then for Entei, so I like this, you know, it's a nice split between the two cards. Now, like, I feel like the bottom is kind of tough because they always have to have all, like, the attack information and stuff on the bottom. So it's sometimes it's, well, we'll see. It, it, it's different per set, I guess. Uh, we'll go with, uh, let's go look at the Raikou first. There's only two, and we did get to the nine, which is pretty good. So out of 69 nines, we have one of them. And then for the top half, we're starting at an eight. We have a few cards here. We did get to nine. All right, so we're sticking at nine. So we didn't get to breach that, uh, you know, 30 um, pop report. Uh, so about 47, still very nice to have two copies of that card. Let's keep going on to the next. Let me know what your thoughts are on kind of like this PSA submission reveal formats. Um, at least some of them, again, like the more of the story is you find... Uh, kind of like cards that you just uh, you you just like it doesn't matter what the price is again I paid thirty dollars for most of these cards um, or per card and then you just get them graded because you want them in your collection I have extras for binders that you know were in great condition and that that's perfectly fine okay Raikou Suicune wow 12 and 13 let's let me split these up all right so about half starting at sevens though so apparently these guys are tough to grade i don't think we got to the 10. uh this is probably the best distribution of the art though you got full suicune on the bottom full raiko on top you see uh suicune's i don't know ribbon thingies in the arts look at raiko's tail that's pretty cool all right here we go start with suicune we got up to the eights let's see how many eights only 29 eights interesting oh, actually that's so so few and if we can get to the nine we're at that 80 range not bad would have been awesome to get one of those tens to have like close to only 10 copies um top half we got to the eight so very low uh once again the um total number graded is very close to how many uh psa 10 first edition base charizards there are all right last of legendary dogs we got Suicune Ente. Let's see. All right, so we seem very heavily. We only had. Actually, so this is a good example of. Let me pull up the pop report. Suicune Ente. Um, this one is interesting because there are only 13 tens on the bottom half, but there are more graded in general. And this is one, not a very good distribution as far as the art goes. Like this. <laughs> this is the one with the, all the art. You know, that's that's really cool in itself. And then the bottom half. What do we got? Entei's feet and a little bit of something from maybe Suicune. Uh, but let's see how we did on the grades. Oh, actually, this is really cool. So we do have the Genmin 10. This was the only copy I submitted to PSA, and it did get to 10. That is awesome. One of 39. Bottom half. Starting at six. Long way to go. We get seven. Level up. All right. Can we get to eight? We did get to eight. I don't think we're going to get to 10. Maybe we, oh, we didn't even get to nine, but that's okay. Because there's not much there to look at, honestly. Um, so I'm pretty actually this is quite a turnout we only had one of these to submit and all the art is there and we did get the perfect score 10 all right so that's it for unleashed and this era like uh, I I've never opened a heart gold soul silver pack but there's a lot of cool stuff in this time we got the primes as well and I feel like even the primes you know I feel like 
the appreciation isn't there. Maybe it's because it's 2010. Maybe it's not old enough. Uh, but Primes is another thing which I just... The prices were so low, I thought the cards were cool. They're zoomed in. And so I picked up a bunch of them, sent them off to PSA. That's for another video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are for this format, and I'll continue it. Kyogre Groudon. This is a nice one. Uh, let me pull up this. Wow. So few graded. 105 of the... We'll call this the Groudon card, and then the Ky or Kyogre, and then the Groudon. There's less than 100 graded total. That is crazy. And maybe that's why... <laughs> It was hard to find a good copy worthy of sending to PSA, uh, but we did get the 9, which is pretty nice. Uh, 43 copies, only 10 cards better grade. All right, Kyogre, we're starting off at a 9. Very strong start. Let's see if he gets at 10. Ooh, all 9s. Three 9s for Kyogre. Still very cool. Less than 50 of these in existence. And um, I guess I haven't been using the, char the, the Hidden Fates one. But uh, because, well, let's use that one. So like roughly 26 times the number of Hidden Fates Charizard, Shining Charizard 10s uh, compared to these cards. So huge, like again, very, apparently these cards are rare and they were just, you know, they're so cool and they were not that expensive. So I feel like it was a no brainer for me to just pick some up and get them graded. Here's a awesome one. Uh, the better half of Undaunted, even though Kyogre Groudon is awesome. We have Rayquaza. Um, let me pull up this. Rayquaza Deo Deoxys. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Deoxys, uh, but the Rayquaza half is really cool. Although the Deoxys art is nice. So there we go. That's the split. Kind of look at it like this. Uh, so they're kind of just flying around. So the Deoxys, that art is pretty cool too. But I think I'm going to give the edge to this Kai, or the Rayquaza. And based on the number I uh, have of each, I'm guessing the Rayquaza was the more expensive. Take a look at the pop report. Less of the Rayquaza, more of the Dark Rye. Only 15 tens of Rayquaza and 18 for Deoxys. Let's see how we did. Let's start with Deoxys. Starting at 8. Come on, let's get at least get to 9. All right, we at least got to 9. Okay. Um... 82 copies of that and then Rayquaza that'd be awesome to get a 10 only 15 in existence ah nine very happy with this result still and uh man waited sent these off 11 months later got them back uh psa super super bogged down all right here we go here are the big hitters we got two of the um gen the gen 2 birds starting with ho-oh let's this is one, a good example of um, where the bottom half, yeah, kind of get gypped. And there's only one Pokemon here, so it's not like uh, there's two of them. So all we got is his feats. So if you like Ho-Oh's Talons, this is the card for you. If you like Ho-Oh, I think this is the card for you. But just this art is so unique, very cool. Uh, let's take a look, uh, less than 30 of each at the 10. All right, but we're starting at five for the feet. Feet, we did get to nine, less than a hundred of those. All right, starting at eight, we have three copies, it looks like. Did get to nine, mint nine, 76 copies. Ah, no 10. Very few 10s that I got, but hey, you know what? For when paid $30 for most of these cards, that's about, I'm still happy with these results. All right, last but not least, we have the Lugia. All right, so this one's actually a reverse, where the top half is, you know, I, in my opinion, less than the bottom half. Although maybe this isn't the best Lugia altogether. It does look like he's kind of like underwater, which we know Lugia can do, so that's pretty cool. Not sure how many art actually has him underwater, but take a look at that. I like it. Top half, you kind of just have his tail or whatever. All right, let's take a look at the pop reports. Bottom half, which I like better, only 10 tens. That would have been amazing to get that. But we did get the eight out of 34 copies. We'll take it then for the top half. We're starting at eight. Can we get the nine? Ah, all right. All eights across the board for Lugia. But hey, you know what? There's only across these two cards about 280 of them. Um, you know, there are more, way more first edition Charizard nines in comparison. And um, so I think I'll do like kind of like the market analysis, kind of like where they're at uh, in a separate video, because I feel like that kind of the prices have gone up significantly from from when I bought them. I feel like it's starting to catch up, but like 
there are so few copies so like the prices might be all over the place where the price might reflect demand but then like sold listings might reflect demand and then when you look at you know what you can buy now probably ref might reflect more on the supply side where there's just so few of these I and mean, when you look at these pop reports it kind of makes sense um so again i had a 260 card submission get back to me and i think there's another 30 card submission en route uh so a lot more of these videos to come and we'll try to mix in some of the market analysis again let me know what your thoughts are on this format and uh yeah we'll we'll keep doing this so got a lot of cards to show off and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel. And um, huge shout out to my patrons and all my Twitch subs uh, for supporting the channel. And um, yeah, I'm Wanda Turtle. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.